So, this is the first time I've really been outside <laughs> in the last 10 days. Let's hope I don't trip, right? <laughs> All right, I got lifted up higher. <coughs> I put this together a couple of days ago, but it's been rainy and stuff. So I couldn't move it outside, but I purchased this little mini greenhouse. Gotta move these trash cans. <clears throat> I've been under the weather. I don't know if you saw my last video. Oh my goodness, I hope that is not water. I have a feeling that that is water. Oh no, I have a lot of trash in, in here. <laughs> As you can see, I still have a lingering cough. Uh, what is this, day 10, I think now? So, <coughs> I went to the doctor yesterday just so I can get some medicine. Because usually when I get sick, I do have a little bit of um, like a residual cough and crud that, let, that won't go away. Like a, a lot of times I have to get prednisone to kind of calm down my throat because at that point it's just become irritated and it needs the prednisone to help um, stop it. Like I've said before, anytime I've gotten sick, it's um, I do nat nat um, natural ways to calm down your in inflammation, but it doesn't always work. So I had to go <clears throat> just get some medicine, but I'm good. I feel so much better. Um, it's nice outside getting this natural uh, vitamin D. It's really nice. It's been we had snow three weekends in a row and then we got lots of rain. So <clears throat> now the sun has finally been out for I think starting yesterday and it's supposed to be like that for a few days now. Uh, just for those that don't know my name is this is at Nicole's place and my name is Chanel Nicole. Uh, I haven't had much energy <clears throat> So I've been uh, really fatigued. So I'm excited to be outside. <laughs> and so I was like, well, I went and checked on all my animals and stuff. And I was like, let me go ahead and um, <coughs> pull this greenhouse outside. I think I wanna, what I'm going to have to do is take my water hose <coughs> and put it underneath the greenhouse because of where it's located. I'll show you what I'm talking about. <coughs> oh, goodness. I don't want, my camera doesn't flip. I have to literally just kind of turn it. Yeah, it's time for an upgrade, right? <laughs> but anyways, I have a water hose. I don't know if you can see that white rag, but that's where my water hose comes out. And because of where it's positioned, I'm probably gonna have to put it under, through, th through this down here at the bottom so let's see how that works yeah you guys are always so inquisitive little cats
I can tell I'm still not a hundred. I'm not a hundred percent. I feel a little lightheaded and I haven't been walking or anything. I hit, like I said, I hit the 75,000 and then that's the week I got sick and I'm thank the Lord I was able to close out and close out that step challenge because I would have been so sad. But then after that I got sick and so I have not been walking or anything so I'm gonna have to but I I did lose one more pound so and that was probably because I couldn't really eat that much um, kind of lost my appetite a little bit it was a little queasy so um, I'll have to get back to exercising and working out again oh man I'm tired but it is such a beautiful day I'm excited about this this is my first mini greenhouse <clears throat> It has four trays on each side. I did a little video putting it together, but I haven't uploaded it because I have to do some minor, just a little minor editing on it. And um, I was trying to decide on if I want to go ahead and edit the video all together and make it shorter or just um, do the little minor edits and then just put it on as is. I might just put it on, do the little minor edits and just put it, um, upload it as is because I just, I have not been in the in the mindset to to work or do anything to do anything. It's like I'll wash some I'll wash dishes and then I'll have to rest. <coughs> <coughs> or I'll go feed the animals and then that's enough. That'll like burn me out for for a few hours. So that's kind of how it's been. But I'm excited about this because I also bought um uh, my first tray too so I can I think it's a tray of uh, 36 individual little um, containers so that I can do um, start my seeds and I haven't had a chance I started organizing my seeds and I start um, I bought this little organizer I need to label it but I start organizing my seeds based on like what can be planted in spring what can be planted in winter what's flowers what's herbs what's melons um, and I'm trying to think of the, the order I want to do it on the, in the containers. But I need to write down all my dates because I don't even know. You know, you have to wait till the last day of the frost. <coughs> but you can start the seeds like six to eight weeks before that um, indoors. So I have to get pull out my calendar and write all that down and figure out what, what's what and what goes where when and when I could start it. It's already February, so I know some of the dates have to be cut, like quickly approaching because I kind of remember last year starting some of my seeds indoors. So I'm hoping for um, a lot of success this year. I'm gonna go bigger than what I did last year. And um, I'm probably gonna build another raised bed up, up here in the front. And I'm probably gonna phone in a friend to help me do some fencing in the um, 1.73 area as well. As soon as I kind of get back acclimated after, I'm hoping that once this medicine kicks in, that um, my cough will be gone here in the next couple of days. So we'll see, we're praying. Trust in the Lord, let me cro not cross my fingers, I'm not superstitious. It's all about faith, right? <coughs> so um, one of my raised beds, I never showed it, but I actually closed it out. And I just put a whole bunch of like, um, food scraps and different things like that and more compost. Oh, I've never heard something. 
and more compost and then I put a tarp over it and then um, just laid rocks and stuff I noticed my cats were getting in it and I was like mm, nah nah we can't do that so I cleaned that out I cleaned out all the gunk and then I put the scraps in the compost and then I put the tarp and it's been closed out for since like November right before Thanksgiving I think maybe not even October I try to fall no I tried a winter garden I planted some kale some broccoli some radishes spinach and I feel like there was one more thing lettuce I think but I didn't have success that was my first time trying to do a winter garden so I need to buy things to cover cover the garden and stuff when it when it freezes over I used a tarp and I don't think it worked that well and so I'm not sure but you can see where it wants to grow you can tell I can um, maybe show it in another video because I don't feel like trying to feel, film that right now but um, you can tell it wants to grow and I do have little radishes but it, it's not full but it's like little baby <laughs> little <coughs> like the spinach is like this big and it just never got bigger than that <laughs> The radishes finally kind of came up at the top, but you could tell this, this, they were on the struggle bus. The struggle was real. So, um, I hope everybody is doing well. I'm alive. I'm okay. Getting my energy back and just enjoying a little bit of sun here. Um, it's nice to be outside again. I can't wait to be able to do things like I was before. So, I hope everybody has a, a blessed day. And I will be talking to you soon. <laughs> I'm out.